Jeremy, thanks. And we are continuing with that coverage of that large grass fire that started in Shawnee County this afternoon and has now spread to Jackson County, forcing residents there to evacuate. The grass fire began around one Wednesday afternoon just west of Rossville. Not sure what started it. It appears it started south of Highway 24. When I arrived, it had already jumped the highway. The Kansas Highway Patrol told 13 News heavy smoke from the fire led to nearly zero visibility and caused a head-on collision. Only minor injuries were reported, but KHP says it forced them to shut down a stretch of Highway 24 for several hours. As crews battled to contain the blaze, Silver Lake Fire Chief Joe Hawkins says strong winds made it difficult. The winds are just horrible. I mean, you may think you got a fire under control and if you miss just a small spot, it could rekindle behind a truck that's already been through there and then you're going to turn into another big fire. Agencies from Shawnee County, Jackson County and the surrounding areas responded to help. When you have a fire this big and just a small department like ours, Silver Lake or Rossville, we can't handle that by ourselves. We need the additional resources. Even local farmer Sean Fordhand stepped up and used a technique known as disking to slow the spread. It helps slow down the fire, keeps the fire from getting in that dead grass real fast. It rolls it down into the ground so it contains it, keep it from jumping the road and keep it at the end of the where the firefighters can get closer and drive on where I diss and throw water on it. The fire traveled over five miles, putting residents in rural Jackson County in the city of Delia at risk. My dad and my fiance both are on the fire department, so they got the call. We kind of loaded up our stuff just in case, and then they called us and told us to leave. Jackson County Sheriff Tim Morse also issued an evacuation for the area. Nothing crazy like this ever happens around here, so kind of scary. No one wants their home to burn down, so we're hoping for the best. And Sheriff Morse did tell us earlier that the fire was threatening a structure in Jackson County at 102nd Road. We reached out to see if it caused any damage there, and we have not heard back, but we also don't know if any other structures were impacted.